Proverbs 22.6 states, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Here at Lady of Sorrow Schools, we believe in developing the whole child. We have the opportunity to interact with students on a daily basis throughout the course of the school day. Ever so often, we get word of the great things that are happening outside of school as well. And this takes us to our new segment called Student Spotlight. We are highlighting one of our sixth grade students, Natalia Rangel, for not only exemplifying her character values, her love of God, her discipline, her extracurricular activity involvement here at school, amazing work in the classroom, but especially some of the work that she's doing outside of school that showcases some of the values that she's learned here as a student here at Our Lady of Sorrow School. When Natalia was five years old, she wanted to pursue or try modeling. Uh, so she, we did, we enrolled her in modeling class at Debilu Academy and then uh, she did uh, develop a interest and passion for that. She even started wanting to pursue pageants. Uh, at that time she became Miss Rio Grande Valley Princess at the, by the age of six. And then uh, a few years later she was Little Miss McKellen. All this has led her to uh, an international competition in New York where you know there was hundreds of people there from Australia, Africa, U.S. Uh, competing for modeling and acting and, uh, and she worked really hard that summer and, and she went out there and did it. Through faith, Natalia has been very privileged to have been chosen as one of, um, one of the models for MMG agency out of New York and LA. She's had a wonderful op opportunity to fly to LA and do um, a modeling shoot for the company Adidas, which I'm sure is um, very, no, very well known worldwide. She loves it, but she returns back to school and uh, she, she continues with her passion here. Uh, she knows academics is her number one priority, but aside from that, um, her spirituality um, is very important for us and for her as well. We love the person that she's becoming because of Our Lady of Sorrow School. I think, you know, it's a great opportunity for us, for her. Um, my wife and I are very strict in the sense that we want to make sure she does focus on school first. Um, we feel that school, you know, raising her in a, with a Catholic background and walking with God every day will, will make her succeed on the long run. We, we don't want instant success. We, I, I want her to be a kid. I want her to enjoy soccer. I want her to enjoy, enjoy volleyball. I want her to enjoy her friends here at school. If everything else does happen to work, I, it's okay, but I want her to enjoy her life here at Our Lady of Sorrows. Even though she has these commitments and oblig you know all these commitments whether it's outside of school or in school academically um, she always um, has that faith and that belief that she could achieve it you know and she could perform it and complete it to best of her ability and knowing that God's by her side. She always turns to God and to her faith. I mean we're out could be out in New York and LA and she'll always you know say a prayer. I see her do the sign of the cross and that's very special because because I know that that was something instilled here. She enjoys her friends, her teachers. Um, I think it, it's a great mix of, of children, of, of students that um, do care for each other, do um, have the same beliefs, the same walk with God, and, and show very, you know, great pride for our Lady of School. I, I think one thing I, mean, I, I forgot to mention is that, is that where, where, you know, she did, she did not get chosen for Fashion Week out of New York, um, but she has 100% faith that um, it's God's plan, you know, so, so she does not pout or, or cry. Um, she says, it's okay, Dad, you know, it's okay, Mom, we'll do it again. We'll get it next time, and, she, and that makes us very proud of her. Natalia, we're so proud of you. Uh, you know, I could only, uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Uh, continue striving, you know, reaching for your dreams. Uh, remember God's always with you, and you always have Him by your side. Natalia, I am very proud of you, what you have done, what you are doing within your world. Um, it excites me that you're an amazing athlete, um, I know you can do way better, and I know I will push you harder every single day. I am your number one fan. I, I am, again, extremely proud of you, extremely proud of your achievements, and I know that God has a plan for you.